The World is Leaving the Death Penalty Behind, and his book Mario Marassetti shares an optimistic outlook. Despite the difficult subject matter, he is a journalist, politician, and spokesperson for the community of Santa Gedeo, one of the most active institutions against capital punishment. In 1970, only 20 countries banned the death penalty. Currently, 150 countries have abolished it. The world has quickly changed its views on capital punishment, says the author of Life from Cain to Cataphate, to a world without the death penalty. I think we are not far from a time when most of the world's countries will completely do away with it. Last year, only 20 out of 200 countries used the death penalty, even though about 50 allow for it under their laws. Marazzetti says that the European Union and the Catholic Church are among those responsible for this progress. He believes that Pope Francis is finishing the work that Pope John Paul II started. I am convinced that this way is the best, since every life is sacred. The Church is the largest agency against the death penalty, joined by the EU. I think Pope Francis will help instill that the world is safer without revenge and without humiliating life with the death penalty, and suggest that for every evil, there is always a chance for redemption. The author believes that there is no relationship between the application of the death penalty and the reduction of crime. He cites Canada as an example where the number of crimes has fallen since the death penalty was abolished. Ironically, the former head of death row in Texas is now against the death penalty after seeing it up close. While capital punishment is declining in the world, the community of Santa Gedeo works quietly to support those who are on death row and raise awareness about the inhumanity of the killings.